Hi guys, today I want to show you a new launcher called Nine Cards. So what makes this launcher unique is the fact that um, not only it allows you to have a lot of customizations, but it basically gives you the option of launching your apps from anywhere. So we'll get into that later. So to download this application or launcher, you just have to go to Play Store, and this is the one you want to download, uh, Nine Cards. So once you download and install it, you go through the setup procedure, it just um, teach you um, how to use it and stuff and some of the basic uh, features of it. So I've already done that. So let's just run down um, the main features because it's got a lot. So on the top right it's just a normal logo, uh, it's not clickable. These collections, these are basically the application that is automatically categorizes for you. Um, you can edit them but they do it and they do a very good job of that. I like the UI, it's very nice and clean. This um, add sign basically means you can add your own collection, a custom collection, or one that they set for you, and you can put apps in there. This is the menu, so um, you can have themes. So they've get basically got a place where you could um, keep all your themes, download new ones, and share your own ones. So as you can see here, these are my themes. I could either, these are the top themes that they recommend. So you can apply this theme or you can add it to my themes. These are the new themes. You could edit the current theme that you're using. Sorry about that, just make it straight. You could edit the current theme that you're using. So you got your base color. There's a gradient or you could have a single color. Single color, change it to whatever you like. Or you got a gradient color as well. What I like about this, it changes on the fly, so you got uh, nothing to ch um, you got nothing to worry about. You know exactly how it's gonna look. And then these are colors that um, you could choose. You could use. Uh, you could get load the original colors. You could load a color from palette. So there's all these colors, and you can basically these are the cards, um, the collection cards. You could. The, this is the transparency of them. And you could also choose your wallpaper, as you can see I've chose a different one. And this is the wallpaper transparency as well. Sorry about that. So, if you, uh, once you, you're done, you can save it. Obviously I don't want to save it, I want to keep it how it was, so I'll just hit cancel for now. There's also um, settings here. So you got your account settings. Just the standard stuff. Um, if you get the pro version, I've got the free version. If you get the pro version, you can back up um, your themes and stuff. You've also got nine cards everywhere. This is one of the main um, settings of the launcher. So you can uh, deactivate nine cards everywhere, which means this gesture over here. As you can see, it's not working at the moment. So it work now. It's going to work. Slide bar collection drawer. This is a pro feature, top collections overlay. And then you got quick uh, gestures and you got your home launcher, which basically means um, if you do this, if you um, slide from the bottom, it basically emulates the, sorry, it, it kind of works like the Google uh, Now. So if you do this, it should work. There, as you can see, it's working now. Everywhere. And this is the haptic feedback. Basically, just when you, um, when you're about to in enter it, it'll do that vibration. So that's just uh, nine cards everywhere. Then you got animations. So because I've got the th uh, the free one, you could either do fade out or flip, and you get these animations if you get the pro version. You got moments. This is uh, basically another a nice neat thing about nine cards. It basically on the timing and your Wi-Fi, it kind of decides what when you what applications you will need. So at night time, it'll recommend you those ones, and in the daytime, it'll recommend you different apps according to the time and the Wi-Fi. I usually have it unticked um, so that it loads a bit faster because I've realized that it takes a bit longer if you have that tick. Obviously, it's trying to analyze the time and stuff. So it's up to you what you want to use. Personalization.
these are basically your icon packs i've got um one more icon um, pack but obviously you can get whichever icon packs you, you want you just have to um, go to add new icon packs that will take you to the play store and from there you can get more icon packs you've got actions over here this is basically some of the basic uh, more more features of the launcher so you could have the headphone detection so once you put your headphones in I've got it disabled the notification but you can get it to display a notification you can make it open up your music and audio collection and your media and video collection and you can also to disable this you need the pro version which I don't have at the moment but basically you can toggle the features once you get the uh, pro version in actions yeah to disable it basically just recommends you new uh, new apps and that's just a general information about the nine cards launcher so now going through the actual launcher itself so you got your tools so it automatically categorizes it so if you hit this button you could either share all the you could share this folder or collection you could edit it so you could edit the tools you could also change the colors to whichever one you like and you could also delete the folder if you hold on to it you could either uh, rearrange it you could share it or you could also delete it so once you go into a certain folder from in the uh, within the folder you can or collections you could just go to your different uh, folders and within here if you want to go back you just have to go like that so I like the I like the animation it's really nice it's quite swift and it feels smooth as well so just say the settings of application you can configure it this will take you to the system settings of the application you could also edit it you could change it and uh, delete it you could also add uh, more applications if you like so just say I wanted to add this one I'll just hit that and you'll add that application sorry about that yeah, so you could add uh, more applications. You could also share them. As you can see here, it's um, recommending me titanium backup. I don't know why it's recommending. I thought I already had it, um, but nevertheless, that's um, that's another thing where you could just install your um, you can install the application that they recommend. If you tap that, it'll take you to titanium backup go to the play store and take it to titanium backup so uh, that's more or less it overall i do like it i think um, it needs a few more bug fi uh, fixes and stability fixes it, it works really nice it do, you do get the occasional hiccups um, but apart from that it's uh, really good obviously it's a new app so with the updates it will be more stable it's really nice you could um, edit uh, to your li liking it runs over your launcher so that's really good you don't have to replace your launcher because I know a lot of you like your Nova launcher or your buzz launcher or your apex so this is really good because it adds an extra um, it adds it adds another layer of um, customization you can launch your applications from anywhere so from here I could just go to customization apps and I could go straight into there it works uh, very well so do give it a try I think it might not be for everybody but everybody should give it a try um, and that's nine cards link for everything will be in the description and um, please uh, like my uh, like this video like my new uh, Facebook page and um, I'll see you in the next one hi guys a few things I forgot to mention in the video so I just um, done a quick uh, video just to sh tell you them the first thing is that you can launch nine cards from your lock screen. So as you can see now, I'm unlocked. So if I lock my phone, the moment I'm locked, so you can access nine cards from here, your lock screen. So that's really good. That's one thing I just wanted to tell you. You could also um, activate it from uh, within applications as well. So just say I'm in my clock application, my alarm application. I can go into um, nine cards from here. And another really good thing I like about it is that you can trigger it from any anywhere. I forgot to show you that in the uh, video, the main uh, video I done, so I done this video. So if we go into nine cards, 
go into the settings so I think it's in personalization in actions sorry my bad it's not there either nine cards everywhere there we go if we go here quick drag gesture you could actually choose where you want to activate it from so as you can see now I've got it there you could have it in the top left you could have it top right I prefer having it there if I have it on the top right I think on default it be on the top right but the problem with that is once sometimes when you try to get your notification down you accidentally act, um, activate it so I prefer having it there sorry not there on the right and you could also change so if you can see that the width of it and the vertical offset of it so yeah that's just a few things I wanted to add to the video um, because I forgot to mention it Anyway, take care, like, um, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.